guys, what is going on? My name is Dylan from FieldStrengthAndAthletics.com and today I'm going to show you how to fix your bench press with three easy tips. This is a continuation of our series that we've been doing for a couple weeks now where we've fixed your overhead press, we fixed your deadlift, and now we're on to the bench press. This is one where we see a lot of minor mistakes that lead to a lot of issues and problems in your bench press. So let's get to the video. First things first, let's talk about hand position in the bench press. Now this is just, generally speaking, some of you will have other things going on where you might want to be a wider grip than where I'm going to recommend. This is for those spe uh, specialists that are doing that, don't worry about it. We we're gonna just talk about the general public, or general people that are gonna be watching this video, how to fix your hand position. So typically, when we're getting into this bench press, when we are getting our hand positions, we wanna figure out a distance on the bar, that when we come down, we will make a T with our forearms and the barbell. This will have the best way to push and have support with your bench press. If we're too wide, when we push, we won't have the support of our forearms, our elbows, and our biceps. We also don't want to be so close that we're cramped up and we're doing a lot of triceps. We want to use the whole chest and the triceps together. So we want to find this distance that when we start our bench and we come down, boom, we make a T with the forearm and the bar, it makes it easier to push. The best way to find this hand position is to record yourself either from the back or from the front where you can see that support and you can see that T of the forearm and the barbell. Next thing that we're going to work on to fix your bench press is your bar path. Often when I have people coming in here and they haven't worked with me before, they're doing their bench press, they come down to their chest and they push straight out, right? They're either coming high on the chest and their elbows are way up here, that's no good. What we want to do is we want to actually come down to that xiphoid process, that bony part that sticks out at the bottom of your ribcage right down the center, right where the ribs come up to meet. We're going to aim for that spot, coming down the ramp, and we want to push straight back into that first position, right? So it's going to be a little bit angled when we come down and up, right? Once people have learned how to hit the xiphoid process, they'll come down to that xiphoid process, and then they'll push straight out, and this causes the slope away from the shoulders. We do not want that. You're going to lose any heavy weights. We want to come down to that xiphoid process, and push back up towards our shoulder so that way we get this nice strong lockout position right what we don't want to do is have the shoulder have to do any more work than it really has to to help stabilize so we want to come down the ramp up the ramp to a strong lockout position let's see what that looks like i'm going to get you in the side view here so you can see the barbell move. You won't be able to see what part of my chest is on, but we've already talked about it. We're talking about the xiphoid process, then back over the top of the shoulder. Xiphoid process, back over the top of the shoulder. You'll see the ends of this barbell move on that path, on that slope. Tip number three to fix your bench press. Now, one thing I want to just add in here, there's plenty more things to go over, but since I've limited myself to probably the biggest three that I see people coming in uh, that are new or kind of beginners and intermediates to the sport, we're only going over three since we're limiting these. These are three of the most common things I see pop up. There's plenty more as far as how to set up, how to use your leg drive, how to go through the full 
brace and your bench press. I have gone over this in another video that I posted a long time ago. I'll leave that in a little ID card up above that you can click and go through the full setup and everything you need to know in detail the bench press. Let's go into tip number three. Tip number three is setting up a platform to press off of. When we are bench pressing, we are setting up a platform here on our upper back to press off of. Since we're pushing with our chest and triceps, we're pushing here, and so our platform needs to be in that same general area here in the upper chest. A lot of times, people coming in, you'll see that the delay rather flat. So they'll press from this position, and the problem with this is that we have our whole back as a platform, and you'll see a lot of this going on. Our back's not engaged, our spine is rounded, and so we'll move a lot in our press. What we want to do is set up a platform on the part that we're going to press off of. Since we're only pressing off of this shoulder girdle, we want to set up our platform on that shoulder girdle, right? My mid back and lower back are not a part of the platform, only what I'm pressing off of. So what we've got to do to get into that position is we need to squeeze our lats, squeeze our shoulder blades together, and then shove our shoulder blades into our back pockets. Together, back pockets. This will create this big rounded chest that you see. Once again, it'll look like this. Chest is up, back's engaged, creating a platform on the shoulder girdle, not the entirety of the back. Let's go and see what that looks like. So those are probably the biggest three tips I can give you to fix your bench press. Hand position, bar path, and building a platform. If you want to see more in depth about how to set up a full bench press and leg drive, like I said before, click the link before. I'll also leave it down in the description of an earlier video that I made. Uh, it'll help you immensely in your bench press. If you want to bench 405 or more, these are some essentials you need to get there. Or if you're just trying to get to 225 for the first time, these are some essentials to get there. If you don't have these, your bench is gonna be wobbly, unsafe, and you might injure yourself. These are things that are gonna keep you safe, get you stronger. Go ahead, share this video with your friends that have a shitty bench. Uh, you know, how much bench, bro? Not enough. Um, go ahead and give this video a big old thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. I'll see you guys on the other side. Peace.